Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the potential crash that some people are not talking about in Canadian real estate market and the effect of this possible crash on the REITs or real estate investment trust. I try to make this a really short video. In particular, I want to talk about the two Canadian REITs that I personally invested in them, Kilam Apartment REIT and Granite Industrial REIT, which are, in my opinion, oversold in the recent real estate market fear. If you subscribe to Finance Focus YouTube channels, if you watch, you know, finance gurus on Instagram, if you are reading Finance Focus Canadian subreddits, you probably heard that most of these people predict that after the stock market and crypto crash, a major real estate crash is coming. And they cite some statistics about real estate slowdown in Toronto and Vancouver areas and things like that. In my opinion, it's absolutely possible that real estate prices in Canada stagnate for a few years or it goes through a bear market and we see 10%, 20%, 30%, even 40% correction to real estate prices in some areas of the country. But I think these people don't realize that real estate is a totally different asset class than crypto or even stocks. First of all, real estate market is not a national market. It is extremely local. You cannot say Canadian real estate market will crash in general. The dynamics, the price action and demand for Toronto and Vancouver real estate markets are totally different from Calgary or Halifax or Charlottetown real estate markets. Some of these areas have really bubbly prices and some of them even during this crazy market rally in the last two years still have affordable cost of living. Second, Maybe to your surprise, a lot of people who are buying houses in Canada outside these, outside these bubbly areas like Toronto are first-time homeowners who buy houses and condos to live in them and not to make a quick, quick profit. That's why even if an interest rate goes parabolic, we will not see the level of capitulation that we can see in crypto market or even the stock market, as most of these first-time home buyers and homeowners still need a place to live in and they do everything they can to bail themselves out and keep the house even if they overextended themselves during the mortgage approval process. Of course, we have real estate speculators who buy condos in Toronto and Vancouver to sell, to sell it higher after one year, and those are the people who will be punished with the current raising interest environment. However, these are not all of the real estate owners. If you say we can see similar scenarios that we saw in 2008 in the United States, I disagree. Canadian banks are far more cautious in approval process for mortgages. And while the stress test is not ideal, it is still a process with relatively conservative assumptions about the vulnerability to pay back the loan. As such, I don't agree with most of these finance, finance gurus on Instagram or YouTube about real estate market crash. Of course, crash can come into specific markets, like, you know, the small cities around Toronto, which had a very bubbly prices during pandemic, but it is local and you can only talk about a specific market and each market has different dynamics. That being said, even if we see a real estate market crash in some of the Canadian markets, I think these two REITs, Kilam Apartment REIT and Granite Industrial REIT are relatively safe and I'm still pretty confident in investing and owning these two Canadian REITs. For Kilam Apartment REIT, the main two reasons I am so bullish on them for the long term are first, the quality of their portfolio and their strong funds from operation or FFO base. I talked about, I talked about this quality of Kilam properties and their strong management and the potential of FFO growth in another video on the channel. And I will leave a link to that video in the description box below. So I would skip that part. Just wanted to touch base on the fact that 33% of Kilam buildings are less than 10 years old and more than 60% of them are less than 30 years old and they are moving to sell older buildings and invest in new buildings, which means their buildings will require a lot less maintenance cost in the future. Kilom is also improving their profit margin aggressively, which means even in a stagnant real estate market, they can easily grow their FFO or funds from operation. The second reason is the real estate market in Atlantic region, which is the totally different market than Toronto and Vancouver areas. The real estate market in Atlantic Canada, which is the basically which is where the, ma the main business of Kilam properties is located is actually still booming despite the fact that Toronto and surrounding areas show the signs of weakness in the real estate market. Residential sales is still well above the average in Nova Scotia. Active listings are at the lowest level in the last 10 years in Nova Scotia and average prices is still rising significantly in Nova Scotia. It is still at an elevated level. 
This is an area of the country which can potentially see largest growth percentage in terms of the new immigrants and new businesses in the next couple of years. I personally live in Nova Scotia and I can see real estate market around, around us revolve and I personally don't see any sign of weakness in the real estate market here yet. Despite all these bullish signs, the stock market priced in a major correction in the real estate market for Kilomrit for Kilomrit core markets. And I think this is an overreaction and actually a great time to buy Kilom. I ended up to buy more shares of Kilom this week and will continue to do so in the next couple of weeks. Regarding the second REIT that I own, Granite Industrial REIT, they have amazing growth numbers and a fantastic balance sheet as I described this in another video on the channel. However, the stock market freaked out about the news that Amazon is now is now canceling their new warehouses. And as Amazon is one of the key tenants of Granite, the market is already priced in that more canceling is coming and the interest in basically building new warehouses and renting that from Granite will basically uh, disappear. We can see this reduction in Granite Street share price here after this news. The thing is market is always focused on short-term events and by market I mean hedge funds and large investment firms which need to show good short-term performance to attract customers. Of course during a recession we cannot expect that Amazon or Magna or Walmart continue to aggressively increase the number of their warehouses. Business has cycles and now we are going through a down cycle when growth will be slowed down for a few months to potentially a few years. We are retail investors and this is the advantage that we can have. So we should look at the long-term potential instead of short-term events because we don't need to attract customers or show attractive numbers in the short term. Granite business model is solid in long term as they have strong tenants with stable businesses and Granite has the ability to pay its monthly distribution even during a stagnate warehouse market as they, ha they have a very low payout ratio and a very safe business model. I'm personally holding all of my granite rich shares as I believe this is just a short term event and will add to my granite position if I have the extra cash. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel to see similar videos. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Farewell.